It is so great to have you in Nature's Newsroom today. First of all, will you introduce yourself, your title, and what you do for our international audience? My name is Savizam Ernestine Lekeke. I'm from the Northwest region of Cameroon, and I'm with Cameroon Gender and Environment Watch, a community-based uh, organization in forest regeneration, gender equality, and livelihood for the local communities. Your mission when you came to COP26, what was it? What are you here to do? I am here to add my voice to the voices of the local women, to the voices of the forest women, to say that we are instrumental in reaching our climate mitigation targets, and we are part of climate adaptation, and we cannot talk about sustainability without considering the voices of the royal woman, the women who are at the forefront of climate change, living with nature and dealing with nature on a daily basis. Make that connection between women and gender and climate emergency or the climate crisis. Those two go hand in hand, but not everybody realizes it. And this is where um, we are not very happy as women, uh, because every day women plow the soil, women take care of the farmland, women take care of the natural resources with their lives. And so, their, but their voices are not recognized when it comes to policies, when it comes to national indices all over the world. And uh, for us to reach uh, sustainability in climate change and climate mitigation and gender promotion, we need to make sure that there is that balance between nature, between women, and between the man. And this is where we think that here at the COP is something that we, mo we have to talk about, considering that today also so is the gender day, and uh, our gender is part and parcel of nature. Women in the Kilum Ejim forest area today are part of major uh, leadership positions in the in the forest. They are part of community leadership, and they are speaking out to say that we need policies to reflect women. We need policies to promote the power of the woman in fighting climate change. Tell me briefly where Cameroon is in its climate, Cameroon is in its climate crisis. I will say that Cameroon um, is working very hard and promoting local initiatives, pr promoting also the woman, but then more needs to be done rather than, uh, other than talking, other than the paperwork, other than the policies that's in place. We need implementation strategies in Cameroon. And we need the government to come down to the local people to make sure that those strategies are well implemented from the base. And I see that this is Cameroon. Of course, we applaud the efforts of, of, of the government, but then there is a long way to go. And this long way is like 70% to go. What is your headline on Gender Day at COP26? What do you want us to remember? Today at COP26, we want, I would like the world to remember that the forest woman has lots of best potentials. She can bring the change that we are looking for. And so policies should take into consideration her voice policies should take into consideration her efforts and funding should look at the royal woman and look at activities that promote her, her, her participation in climate change. You are so fierce. Where does your fierceness, your confidence, your passion come from? I am a woman and the woman represents life. She represents hope. She represents nature. And I think that this put together is livelihood, and this put together is environmental conservation. And so as a woman who gives life, we should not have fear. We should talk about our worries, we should stand up for our rights, and we should say that here at the COP, we need gender to be represented in all climate policies. I want to stand up and applaud you, but I, for now I would just say thank you for being in Nature's Newsroom. I feel like we just went to a rally. <laughs> and thank you very much, and mm -hmm. I hope that we will we'll still meet again. I and I hope so. that today the world will remember mm -hmm. that the local woman is instrumental. Mm -hmm. You just brought the local woman 
to the international stage. Thank you. Thank you very much.